As suspense looms over Congress candidates for Gandhi bastions in UP, sources suggest Priyanka Gandhi Wadra and Rahul Gandhi may not contest from Rai Bareilly and Amethi respectively. The Congress has been dealing the nomination that ends on Friday, with BJP also mounting pressure on the party with political jibes of being fearful of defeat. The Congress on Monday said its Central Election Committee has authorized party chief Malikarjun Kharge to decide the candidates for the two constituencies, but the latter was also unwilling to give any clarity. The UP Congress unit wants top party leadership to field Rahul and Priyanka. Polling in Amethi and Raibareli, remember, will be held on May 20, which is the fifth phase of the Lok Sabha polls. Now, this is what Congress sources say on why the two science may be unwilling to contest. First of all, Rahul Gandhi is not keen, we are being told, as a win in Amethi would mean he has to give up on Vayanad, which is the other constituency he has fought for from for the second time. And giving up Vayanad could hurt the party, which is the Congress, in state Kerala polls, which will be followed, uh, which will be following the Lok Sabha elections in Kerala. Now, if Priyanka Gandhi loses Rai Bareli, it will be considered a bad poll debut. And this is something that has really stopped Priyanka Gandhi from making an electoral debut for quite a while because they want it to be a winning debut and it just doesn't seem like they have the confidence to make that happen. Congress Chief Balikarjun Kharge was unwilling, as I said, to give any hint just yet. Even as time is running out, the last date of filing nomination is May 3, which is just three days left. After the Congress CEC let the decision to him, he said when he signs the notification, it will be announced. When he gets the names, he signs them, he will announce it. He also hit out at the BJP asking how many times did their tall leaders, including the likes of Adil Bihari Vajpayee or LK Advani, change their seats as well. Now, no Gandhi from either Amethi or Rai Bareli will spell the end of an era. The Congress has won Amethi consecutively since 1980, with only a one-year gap till Smriti Rani beat Rahul in 2019. Similarly, Rai Bareli, although the BJP won twice in between 1980 and 2019, so politically, what would it mean if no Gandhi contests even from these bastions? Now, skipping these bastions will suggest a psychological defeat. And it could also signal the loss of the Nehru family aura in these constituencies, including the loss of the aura of the Gandhi surname. Congress science will be seen as avoiding tough battles, which has been the bane of the Congress leadership for some time. Congress presence in the Hindi heartland will suffer even more because already they face the charge that certainly in a state like UP, their presence is very, very poor. And it could further demoralize their party workers, carders and supporters on ground because no big faces are willing to jump into the fight in a bastion where the BJP today is very, very strong. So will the Gandhis opt out? And what would that mean really for the Congress parties and the Gandhis? We'll take that to our guests in just a bit. First up, listen into some reactions on this story as well. Modi made a mahal, that's why the Sabai Group और आप यहां की बात कर रहे हो आप याद करो पुरानी अमेठी को राहुल गांधी हार के भागे कि नहीं भागे और अभी भी वायनाड से भागने क्यों सोच रहे हैं तो उनके मन में डर है ना आई बिलीव दैट पीपल कैन डू द कंपैरिजन बिटवीन 15 इयर्स ऑफ राहुल गांधी बीइंग एब्सेंट एंड 5 इयर्स ऑफ द मोदी गवर्नमेंट फंक्शनली ऑन द ग्राउंड एज माय कोलीग मिस सुरेंद्रन हैज सेड वायनाड इज विजिटेड ऑफन बाय एलिफेंट्स एंड नॉट बाय राहुल गांधी एंड ही इज नॉट रॉन्ग बिकॉज़ uh, you need a certain kind of dedication and inclination to public service which uh, compels you, in fact inspires you to be available 24-7. I have been asked this multiple times and I have said that the Congress Party organization, Congress workers uh, all want Mr. Rahul Gandhi to contest from Amethi and Priyanka ji to contest from Rai Bareli. Nidhi Jain, spokesperson of the BJP, Suleiman Mohammed Khan, spokesperson of the Congress Party, and Rashid Kidwai, author and journalist who tracks the Congress very closely, joining us on the show. Suleiman Mohammed Khan, let me come to you. Uh, the messaging of the Congress Party in a state as important as Uttar Pradesh is going horribly wrong because the Congress just cannot decide whether its top leaders will even fight an election. So, by your analysis and uh to the analysis of a lot of media channels, Congress is giving a walkover to the BJP. 
So we should end this here. And we can talk after third that Congress is not fielding a candidate. Good for everyone. Let BJP have a walk over. That is my statement. Well, uh, you will field a candidate, I hope. But these are considered to be Gandhi bastions. As I said, since the can 1980s, I, no. Gandhis have fought from these two seeds. Yes. Are you willing to I concede think, them? Know, I know everything. Just listen to me for a minute. You know, is these are the topics for debates and discussion. Isn't Mr. Ravana, Pragwal Ravana, the topic of discussion in the country? Who has I been just did that discussion, sir. No, I am Before this discussion. Who has been fielded as a BJP JDS candidate who has raped and sexually harassed hundreds of women? Yes, that's been, the allegation. I would just request country. you to be one second, sir. Be careful one before second. you. One second, one second. Be careful before you designate somebody a rapist on the show. Please use no, appropriate I am words. Yeah, I am careful. But I, I just careful. discussed that. And I had come. a Congress I'm representative saying, on I don't that defend debate. People like BJP and anchors can defend. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Suleiman, Suleiman Khan, you are just randomly out. picking a fight for no reason. No, I am not defending Prajwal Rivana. I just discussed his so case. You felt offended when I called him because, a rapist. You yes, you offended. cannot because I will legally fall in trouble. Yeah. Right? So I believe you are a lawyer why? as well, from what I know. So why should you? Because you cannot call somebody that unless they've been oh, convicted, sir. <laughs> I think you understand that. But no, in any case, in any well. case, my point is, I have discussed the that. Is, you are you here are to discuss. Something. You are discussing something which hmm. is not at all, not at all, a topic of discussion. How is it Amidia not a topic of discussion? Lady. Your UP cadre and leadership is coming out in the media and saying they want Rahul Gandhi or Priyanka Gandhi to contest. This was so, a subject okay. discussed what should we do? in the CEC. We, what should we do? And Balikarjun Kharge was requested to field... One second, sir. Let me finish my question. You will get an appropriate answer. So you give me an appropriate opportunity to answer you. I so did. I did. Time. And you went to Prajwal Revana. It is important. Yeah, but that's not the, the subject is, of this debate, sir. Moment. We cannot is, discuss everything under the sun. We have Talk to about be the corruption of electoral bonds of the Prime Minister. The corruption which BJP has done. We've discussed Talk that also. We've discussed Talk electoral farmers. bonds as much topic. as it was needed. But please BJP don't dictate what I will discuss. One second, Mr. Years. Suleiman, Rahul please Gandhi don't, dis don't dictate what I will discuss. You are here, you, you are aware of what we are about to discuss. You will get a candidate after three May, 3rd of May. The last date of nomination is 3rd of May. So yeah. Wait till 3rd of May, 5 p.m. So every Congress constituency, you are declaring no, the candidates the that late? The what is the delay for? The, way you have, the problem starts the way you introduce it. Congress party is so weak. It is, it's been a bastion. Rahul Gandhi, after losing, has not turned back. Everything. I didn't say that. that. That chief minister of uh, Madhya Pradesh who was saying, Bhag Yes, he is saying that. He is a political opponent. Obviously, he'll say that. Madam, I understand it. I've been around. I understand everything, how you started the show. It is completely show Congress party in a bad light. That is all. We face how? We are wasting adverse media for 10 years. I have mentioned facts part. about yes. the fact I, 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 that, Ra that Rai Bareli and Ameti were Congress bastions. You including on top of that, they were Gandhi family bastions. We have a very good fight. Don't worry. They are going to lose badly. India Alliance will win, win these, these two seats. And uh, Smriti Rani, who is contesting and a sitting MP for five years from Ameti, she must speak on this uh, Ravenna electoral bonds to crore jobs, farmers, uh, uh, you know, uh, wages and uh, their, their money and the, you know, the okay. doubling the farmers. I'll go to Neeti Jain in just a bit. But you know, Rashid Kirwai, this just belies the mindset that the Congress is in. You know, they feel first that the entire world is against them and everybody else is to blame for their you problems and electoral the whole media, please mute his mic. Everybody else is to blame for their problems and electoral defeats. So everybody else is bad and somehow they're doing everything right, but they're not willing to concede that there is a problem that some of their top leaders are not coming out on the ground. Now, we were told after Vayanar election, Rahul Gandhi's candidature may be announced. What do you think is holding this up? 
I think Shivani, it's a, not an easy decision. It's it's a decision that is has you know far-reaching implications. On the one side, there is a lot of pressure from Akhilesh Yadav Samajwadi Party, which is an ally that you know senior Congress leaders or venerable Congress candidates should join you know Uttar Pradesh uh, election so that you know the opposition India Alliance uh, campaign gains momentum. On the other side is the issue of uh, venerability, and mm-hmm. that is where Shivani, I think, uh, all those sources and this inspired leaks etc. are not very effective. Because uh, for Rahul Gandhi to lose Amethi once again, uh, you know, uh, uh, pitted against Smriti Rani is going to be a very embarrassing thing. Remember, in political, uh, you know, political parties, individuals they fight to win. There is no silver medal in politics. So Congress is waiting and watching and getting some kind of, uh, you know, trying to get some kind of positive feedback so that Rahul can uh, contest. But problem doesn't solve here, Shivani, because if Rahul is to contest and win, then he will have to concede one of those seats. And mm-hmm. it's a very kind of thing that you you know force a by-election, and you know uh, the way Rahul Gandhi is you know political standing uh, you know is at present, it is all going to has a potential to boomerang. So I think you know this source-based uh, information that is coming through is in, in a way is inaccurate because it is for you know Rahul and Priyanka you know to take a call. And it's a no, uh, certainly, certainly it's been it's quite clear that. Uh, there are leaders who are trying to convince both Rahul and Priyanka, right, uh, to to uh, to be to fight these elections. Am I correct, Rashid Kadwai? Absolutely. But so they are not willing to. Uh, so what what is that? Is that the def- is that a fear of defeat? Because results obviously uh, nobody can predict results, right? Uh, because if they were already decided, then you wouldn't need elections to take place. But you do need a fighting spirit now. As even if the Congress is seemingly down and out. And particularly in Uttar Pradesh, you do need your bigger faces to say, okay, we are going to fight to enthuse your cadre as well. But it seems the Gandhi Science are not willing to do so. And not really, Shivani. There are two things we must remember. First of all, you know, in the third, fourth, and uh, fifth phase, I mean, uh, till 20th of May, hmm. uh, you see there are 200 and around 240 seats that will go to poll. Hmm. And the Congress has a very effective campaigner in Priyanka Gandhi, and to some extent that applies to Rahul Gandhi. If Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi is to contest from Ra- Rai Badali Amiti, they will have to, you know, they'll get bogged down to their respective constituencies. So who will campaign in, you know, 238 constituencies? But That's Rahul has fought in. Vayanad, if you could do that yeah. in Vayanad, so, why not in Amethi? Precisely. So, Vayanad, you see, he has got, last time, if you know, uh, remember 2019, he lost from Amethi and won from Vayanad. Now, again, if you Assuming he contests from Amity and wins, he will have to make a call. He can, uh, as per constitution, he can only retain one seat. And if he leaves Vanyard, then in 2029, he will again have that problem. Okay. All so right. The tricky things are there. I think it's not an easy thing. But yes, the Congress must make it stand clear that I agree with you. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really help the candidate they will announce if it also happens as belatedly. Sometimes I feel that, you know, the BJP, if you look at BJP, it is, it's very excited and it really wants to, you know, it's egging on Rahul Gandhi to come in fray. Mm. I think somewhere the BJP strategy is also to make the remaining part of 2024 election as Modi versus Rahul Gandhi. Rahul Gandhi. And Rahul Gandhi Niti, is he mean? you're missing Rahul Gandhi in the campaign, particularly in UP. You know, the campaign in UP in any ways is very thanda, right? So, uh, BJP is also looking to kind of warm it up, heat it up. Shivani, I think uh, Rahul Gandhi is doing it nationally, so it's not like we're missing him at all. He's doing a fine job, but I think the spokespersons like the entire Congress party are very rattled with everything. So to think that Rahul Gandhi, if he wins, he is going to have to let go of one seat. I think that's just very ambitious to think and there is nothing wrong with it. Again, this is an internal matter of the Congress party, whether they fight the election or they don't fight the election. But the problem here is, that for a very long time they have been saying Vayanad ke baad announce karenge, ab wo aa rahe hai. the karikartas are all enthused. If you do not have the confidence in yourself to come and fight the elections where you say, ye hamara parivar hai, this is our family and it has been for generations. And if you can't stand with those people and take on our uh, candidate, for example, in Amethi, if you can't stand against Smriti Rani and with your people and say, I am still going to fight. I am still going to stand with you, whether I lose, whether I don't lose, I consider you your family. That is another uh, optic that comes out. But these are the people who cannot keep their own family together, uh, family in the sense their party together. 
and they go out and do a nyay yatra to connect the country that is hilarious i think not just for me the bjp or uh, a single person but i think it's just very confusing for the entire country that the congress party is making a joke out of themselves without having any kind of confidence in standing with their own people or but you should be happy no why is the bjp you know so concerned with this you should be happy the congress is uh, we definitely not concerned you know we almost leaving the field for you obviously they will have a no. candidate but it will can, it cannot be a high profile candidate not as high profile as rahul or priyanka no we have been saying smriti ji has said let his 10 years and her 5 years let there be a comparison of what they have done let them at least come and say humne ye kiya they have nothing to show for what they have done in their own constituencies which have been with them for generations and to come out and make big promises about anything else just sounds very hollow right now okay well more than a meeting because rahul gandhi did face defeat there last time actually it's the decision about raiburaili which is more perplexing because this was a seat held by sonia gandhi who's now gone to the rajya no, sabha even- surely uh, you know this is a seat that should continue to be nurtured by the gandhi family but it, will it be so we don't know 3 days to go let's see who the congress announces i do thank our guests for joining us